Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and everything about Excel. Also, thanks for all my new subscribers, uh, over 12,000 and on my way to 20,000. Really excited for that. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscriber button and also hit the notification bell so that you're notified on my next video. All right, let's get into this. This is a chart that I'm redoing from 2013. Geez, uh, seven years ago. Uh, what this is, is this is a clustered stacked column chart. So if you go up to insert ribbon and you go over to your column charts, you will see there is a clustered column chart, there is a stacked column chart, but a lot of people wanna do a combination of those. So they wanna have a stacked column chart that is clustered. So this is a very easy, very simple way to do it. Let me show you how you can create uh, this similar chart. We'll show you the basic one first. After the basic one, I'll show you some extended options of adding a column filler uh, to separate the, the two products, also adding a second vertical axis. Let's go ahead and uh, show you that now. All right, so you may set up your data in such a way that it's very easy to input your data. You've got your radio, advertising, print, TV, internet, uh, and you're doing your budget versus actuals. Let's say there's a marketing budget and you've got your products. Now, this gets us uh, a, a decent looking chart, but it's not the way we wanna have it grouped. What we need to do in order to take advantage of Microsoft Excel's multi-level category access labels, we need to modify our data and such that we have a product and then we're going to have budget and actuals and we'll have radio, print, TV, internet up on the top and then we'll do the same for product too. Uh, so you don't see me copy and pasting those uh, 40 cells. Let me just go ahead and copy and paste it from another workbook. All right, so here is our data. So as you can see, we're going to set up um, tiers of, of groupings and that's how we're going to get that look of a clustered stacked column chart. So simply after you've got your, um, your data in the right format where you've got um, the first grouping and then the breakdown of groupings, the radio, print, internet, and TV. This is going to be one column stacked. This is going to be the second column stacked, third, and, and fourth. So to create our chart, all we simply need to do is highlight our range, go up to the insert ribbon, go over to the charts group, do the click on the insert column um, or bar chart, and then choose a stacked column chart. Let me move this over so you can see a little better. So now we have our stacked column chart. However, it's not giving us the groupings that we want because of the number of rows and columns that we have. Excel decides you wanted to see it this way. What we wanna do is we wanna do switch column or row. To do that, find your uh, chart tools design ribbon. And then there is a button in the data group called switch row and column. And we now have our uh, completed chart. So this is exactly what we wanted to do. The only thing, and it's optional, you don't have to do this. If you want to pull some of these columns a little closer together, click on any series, do Control F1. That will bring up your Format Series dialog box. Here, um, what you want to do is change the gap width, I don't know, to something like, say, 15% and you can see our uh, columns are a little wider. It pulls them together a little bit. So once again, that's optional and as you see fit. So there, we've completed a basic clustered stacked column chart. Now, what we can do is we can put some enhancements to this to maybe make it a little bit better for the reader. Um, I like to kind of group the products together in uh, by inserting a row. And so let me show you what that looks like. If you go over and in between product one and two, if you right click and insert a row, that adds a series of data in there. Now the only problem that you see with my chart, look, there's a line over here on product two, but not on product one. Product one is now increased to have that entire range of that new series. We don't want that to show up. So to get rid of that, move the line back over. If you click below product one um, and right before product two, I'm going to hit my space bar and you will see that there, uh, the grouping lines for the multi-level category access uh, labels are uh, grouped better. So I'd like to do that. That's my first optional step that I think is, uh, is great to do. Now, uh, you've got budget and actuals over on the right, but we don't have values over there. So that um, is something that we can do by adding an additional series. So let's go ahead and do that now. And 
um, put a secondary access uh, labels or vertical access um, uh, you'll see those numbers there so it's a little closer to the budget and actuals so let me go ahead and delete this chart what you want to do is create a second series another series next to internet and we'll call this uh, second access labels and this is going to be the maximum um, of all of our different rows since this is a column and this is a column uh, we want to have the maximum of each of those so I'm going to do equals max uh, parentheses and then I'm going to do a sum of this first row I'm going to end my parentheses and do a comma and do a sum of uh, my next row I'm going to end that parentheses and I'm going to put a comma and do a sum of the next row and patience with me please we just got one more of these to do and uh, you will see what we mean here so this is this is how we, we are creating so it's the maximum of all of those different rows um, and that maximum is 628 so I can now go ahead and create my chart using this additional series so highlight my range once again uh, including product one product two and then also the second access labels go up to your insert ribbon click on the insert columns uh, chart and do a stacked column chart and there's our stacked column chart now once again this doesn't look the way we want it to uh, what we want to do is we want to uh, go ahead and um, switch our rows again and columns in the chart because uh, Microsoft Excel is showing you that we should be putting it in this order when that's not the order that you want it in. Uh, I put a link in the description as to why Excel is doing that. Go ahead and click anywhere in your chart. Go up to uh, your chart tools design ribbon. Go to the data group and click on switch row and column we now have the grouping of what we want it's got that um, extra uh, row in there that we created to kind of do that separation and I have this um, value here which is our second access uh, labels and if I click on it what I want to do is right click on it uh, do format data series you can also do control one to bring up the format data series dialog box click on the secondary access and we have moved that uh, series to the secondary axis. The only other thing I want to do with this is I want to, you, you don't have to leave the data series dialog box, you've still got it highlighted. Go over to this fill and line options, click on no fill. You can see it's now hidden, but we have a secondary axis that equals to the same amount as our primary axis, and so people can see those. Once again, I probably want to change the gap width of my series to about Oh, like I said before about 15% just to kind of get them a little little chunkier and then the final thing I want to do is I want to do a little chart cleanup and get rid of the secondary axis in my legend by first clicking on the chart clicking on the legend then clicking on the legend entry and hitting your delete key on your keyboard so that is how you can create a um, clustered stacked column chart in Excel 2019 uh, with a secondary access with a break. Let me show you just a little bit more of what that looks like um, on a larger chart. So here we have the same chart but with a, a third product added into the mix for its marketing trends and as you can see uh, we've got the secondary access labels on there so I think it just gets a little bit more easy to read. Uh, we've got the different gaps. Notice I have a problem here in my product too. So when I added this product and added this row to get this grouping to have the line and the product two grouped right under budget and actual, what you want to do is go right above the last or go to the last entry before the next product. So product two, um, that's going to be uh, part of the grouping. And I want to do a space bar to make this look like it's a whole new grouping all by itself. So I just put a space in there. Now, if you don't know what that looks like, let me go ahead and do. Um, text here and text here and you will see where it pops up in the chart itself it's on that second row where the products would be and it's creating its own grouping for those two text values and um, that allows you to have the lines for the multi-category access labels all right once again the easy way to do this clustered stacked column chart is by utilizing the feature that Microsoft Excel already has which is a multi-level category access labels to find those um, go ahead and click on your chart double click on the horizontal axis within your chart and then on the access options go down into the labels 
uh, collapsible section, and there it is, multi-level category labels. If I uncheck that, notice that uh, uh, product two is now just showing up under budget. Let me move this out of the way. Product two is product one is just showing up next to budget because it's on that same line. Um, so any text that you put um, in the actual line here, typing that funny, there we go, um, should show up in my chart. There it is, actual text. Um, but we don't want to do that. We want to have it grouped and um, create the groupings um, so that the reader doesn't have to read product one, budget, product one, actuals, and we'll use the uh, groupings by Microsoft Excel that they already have in place. Once again, that's under labels. And you scroll down, multi-level category labels. Hopefully you found this technique uh, valuable. This is the 2019 version. I do believe that this is also uh, the same um, setup for 2013 and Excel 2016 uh, that you'll have to be able to create this chart um, because the menus and ribbons have changed slightly from Excel 2010. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.